Hi, good morning. Let's start today's vlog. <laughs> I had to finish yesterday's vlog before I could start today's vlog because I totally dropped the ball. Anyway, I am way, way behind schedule today. Like what on this earth is even happening today? I don't know. It's like noon. We have not started school. Um, we did school yesterday though and a lot of it so I don't know if today might end up being our day we, that we'll take but probably not because I think we might be going to the house tomorrow so I just need to buckle down and we just need to get this day going but first I'm going to make my bed and I've already what have I done today? I've kind of cleaned the bathroom up a little bit, kind of washed the toilet inside, fed kids, tidied up, talked to my husband. Um, he, I think, is not like going to be working long today. And so we were gonna go to the house and do some things, but Mason has a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu thing at five. So we're not gonna make it to the house. That's not enough time for us to go out and work. Um, but tomorrow we are going to be probably finishing the floors and we may be putting down some carpet padding and stuff like that. So hanging light fixtures potentially. So anyway, I think we might be going to Lowe's or Home Depot to look at carpet and carpet padding. I doubt we'll get the carpet there, um, depending on what they have, you know. I'm not super picky about carpet, just to be honest, because it's probably going to get ruined anyway with my kids. Um, I just don't want to spend a fortune on carpet, but I also don't want to cheap out too much because I know that good carpet can really make or break a room. <laughs> the carpet that's actually in this house is like builder grade. Um, it's not the best. It definitely shows a lot of wear and tear very quickly. And so, um, in the past, when we have gotten carpet, we have... Let me shut this door because they are watching a show and it is so loud. Uh, we've gotten really good carpet padding. And that's like the ticket to get super good carpet padding that can like make your carpet so much nicer. So, I don't know what we're going to end up doing, but I'm just so ready to make more progress on the house. And, you know, I've had, like, my ups and downs with, like, stressing over how we're going to make this house work. Like, it's just, like, I go back and forth. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're never, ever, ever going to be happy, like, crammed in there for a while until we can get the addition. And then I'm like, this is such a first world problem. What is wrong with you? Of course you can make it work and everybody will be fine. I go back and forth. You know what I mean? It's just, I know what it's like to go from like a lot of space to a not a lot of space. And you just have to be extremely prepared mentally for that type of thing. So, not a big deal. Not a big deal. We will make it work. We will be alright. It's just, um, sometimes I, you know, get a little carried away in my mind about oh no like are the kids gonna be okay the whole transition we have transitioned to so many different houses so many different times like i know like the transition is usually not fun and that goes for really to transition into any new house it's hard on us it's hard on the kids it's hard on everybody because it's a new it's a new thing it's a new space something you're not used to new routines new things you know just it's just different. So I'm just trying to prepare myself for that. <laughs> I know it's going to be like another hurdle, another challenge, but hopefully moving in the right direction because, you know, this time it will not be into a rental. It will be into a house that we are working on. We are owning. We are permanently or semi-permanently <laughs> going to be there. So anyway, I'm really excited about, you know, all of it but I'm also very nervous and sometimes I can just let those nerves get carried away but that being said I think I think as long as like we can keep the vision you know what I mean of where we're going it'll help 
I had to, oh, I also had to sew a costume for Solomon, his little army man costume that he had on ripped, uh, the Velcro ripped off, so I reattached the Velcro this morning. <laughs> There's like so many random things that we have done. All right, but before Maddie's eating some food, I've got my bed made and I might go ahead and dump out the laundry that needs to be folded get them started on their math and independent work, handwriting, all that fun stuff. So they can be doing that while at least I get some of this laundry dealt with. But isn't it crazy just how much a difference making a bed can make your space feel? Yeah, I've decided also to sell this. We have, I've, we've been trying to decide what on earth we were gonna do with this desk and that chair because we are absolutely not gonna have space for it. And then, you know, we're, we're moving. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe we should just um, store it for when we do have the extra rooms built. And then I was like, that is really dumb. I don't like to store things because what's the point? This is one of the most comfortable chairs ever though. It's actually pretty difficult to get rid of because it's so comfy. I don't know. We'll definitely sell the desk. I may end up keeping the chair just because, you know, there's a possibility that we could still use it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna get busy. You guys, I got a text from our old CC director, our homeschool community director, and I had ordered a yearbook last year and never picked it up. So she's there right now. I'm gonna go pick it up. I guess today may be, I don't know. Today's just not gonna be what I thought it was gonna be. That's all right. I'm gonna go do that because that has to happen um, today. you guys we are driving I picked up the yearbook from last year chatted with a friend and then we drove down to Ollie's um, it's really difficult for me to bring cameras into stores because of the little <laughs> the little stubborn two and a half year old um, he's not a good store kid if you know what I mean I don't know if any of you guys have any kids that are not good store kids but he's not a good store kid um, so I try to not take him into stores very frequently especially around nap time but anyway i ran into ollie's so that we could see their carpet and their carpet padding i wanted to see if they had anything that would work in the house and the answer was no there was nothing there so at least i know i didn't really think there would be but i was kind of hopeful like maybe i would get lucky and find something so anyway, um, we are going to go home, but I need to run real quick into the grocery store to pick up some bread because if you saw yesterday's vlog that I haven't posted yet, but I will, there was mold on all my bread. So I have to get some more bread and I picked up some crackers, Ritz crackers, which was something that was on my uh, grocery list that I needed to pick up. I got those at Ollie's and then, what else? <sighs> I'm tired today. I'm really tired today. I don't know why. I got plenty of sleep. Oh, uh, flour. I need flour. There's something else. What else was it? Bread. Bread. Milk. Oh, mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise. Oh, yes. Flour. No. Mayonnaise. Flour. Bread. Bread. Milk. No, we have milk trying to think so anyway that's what I'm gonna do next hopefully I can remember what I need but I'm not taking kids in and run in I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna get out as fast as possible that's the plan and then we're gonna oh, just head home and I'll probably put Sammy oh, down for a nap today no nobody's going in but me I'm just gonna run really fast and then oh, yeah of course I am Solomon Nathaniel <laughs> They think that I take a long time in the grocery store. Yeah, you do. Yeah. What does Mason? What does Mason think? Bye. Put a geese over there. Bye. Are you ignoring me? 
He's like, I'm pleading the fifth. You know what? I was gonna get your haircut. I might try to do that. He needs a haircut so badly. And even though I cut Solomon's hair yesterday, I just I'm not do it. I'm not the best hair cutter. Oh well. Do it especially else. as they get Maybe. older and stuff. I just I'm not confident in my skills whatsoever. Like on a five year old, yeah. I'm all right. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. But like, I mean, you, I'm you no, you go out and I'm about, and people enough. will be looking at your hair like, dude, who killed your hair? <laughs> you did my hair the best. And you'd be like, oh yeah, that was my mom. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that to you because I am not a good hair cutter. Oh well. All right, so I might do that and, and uh, pick up. Hey, hey guys, you fun. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts right now so I'm gonna try to get them settled down I made dinner but I couldn't vlog because as you can hear it's been another crazy <laughs> crazy behavior day I can touch on that a little later but man oh man um, at the expense of sounding completely redundant and whiny it's just Every day is really a challenge for me and for my husband and my family and learning how to manage my behaviors. Look at your 